Hello everyone. Let's solve this very quickly. We have square root of 2 plus square root of x equal to 2. Please hold on and learn. And at the end of this video, I want you to rate this video over 10. Okay. Now, the first thing I want us to do is to square both sides. So we have square root of 2 plus square root of x. Put this together and you square it, which will be equal to 2, and then we square this as well. Now we are squaring this so that we can do away with the square root signs. Now, let's follow this standard. We are going to have, um, if you have a plus b squared, now this will give you a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, right? Okay, so I'm going to apply this standard now to this place, to the left hand side. So that I will have, um, in place of a squared, I write root 2 squared, then plus 2ab. That will now be 2 multiplied by a is root 2, and then b is root x. And this will be equal to 2 squared. Okay, I am still going to pick b squared, right? So plus b squared, which is um, root x, we now square this, which will be equal to 4, 2 times 2. Now, the next point is this. This can cancel this. So 2 is alone. Then plus, here we have um, root, you know, this is 2, root 2, and this. By the way, this will give us 2. We can multiply this and this together to get square root of 2x. Okay, then plus this square root and the square will cancel. So we have x. This will be equal to 4, right? Okay, if you're following, thank you for being there. Now, the next point is this. We cannot add this to because this belongs to the square root, okay? But then we can collect like terms. So we have 2 root 2x plus x is equal to 4 minus 2. Take this to the other side. Now, root 2 root 2x plus x is equal to 2, right? Now, what do I do from here? Let's make this the subject. So we have 2 root 2x to be equal to 2 minus x. Because 2 will come first, and this becomes negative on the right. Now, what do I do? The next thing I will do is to divide both sides by 2. Divide this by 2, so that this will cancel itself from here. And then, um, root 2x will be equal to 2 minus x over 2. Now, you will be tempted to cancel this two, right? But that will be wrong, because we cannot. Now, the next thing is to square both sides so that we can eliminate the square, I mean the square roots from the left hand side. So the whole of this will be squared. If we continue, then we have this to cancel this, and then 2x will be equal to 2 minus x over 2 in two places. 2 minus x over 2 because of the square on it. Now, watch the way I will um, multiply. 2x will be equal to 2 times 2. That will be given 4. Then, we have 2 times minus x. That will give minus 2x. Minus x times 2. Minus 2x. And minus x times minus x will give plus x squared. Now, the whole of this will be over 2 times 2, which will give 4. Now, from here, you can simply cross-multiply because this is over 1. 4 times 2x is 8x, which will be equal to, from here, we have 4, then minus, minus 2x minus 2x will give minus 4x, then plus x uh, squared. Now, let us rearrange this better so that we write, um, okay, this is x squared, not 8. 
this is x squared. Now write the x squared first. This minus 4x will follow. This 8x becomes minus 8x since it's coming to meet the others. And then this 4 will still appear and everything is equal to 0. And from here, our x squared minus 12x plus 4 will be equal to 0, right? Now, let us continue because this is now a quadratic equation and we are going to solve this using the formula method. A is 1, B is minus 12, and then C is 4. Now, some students may not be able to know how I get the ABC, okay? Or how to get the ABC. Now, your A is a coefficient of X squared, which is 1. B is a coefficient of X, which will be minus 12. And C is a constant, which is positive 4. What is the formula? X is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC. And the whole of this will be over 2A. So our duty now is to substitute into the formula so that x will be equal to, we have minus, okay, minus 12. Because this negative will come first, and then b itself is negative 12. That is it. Then plus or minus, b squared will now be minus 12. Then we square this, minus 4 times 1 times 4. a is 1, and c is 4. This will be over 2 times 1. This is interesting, right? Now, from here, our x will be equal to 12 plus or minus. Then we have um, what we have here, minus 12 squared, which will give us 144. Then minus 16, 4 times 1 times 4, 16. And the whole of this will be over 2. Take a step further. So that x will be equal to 12 plus or minus 144 minus 16 will give square root of 128 and this will be over 2. But then I want us to simplify 128 or square root of 128. So x will be 12 plus or minus 128 over here is the same thing as 64 times 2. Because 64 is a perfect square, that's why I brought it out. Then divide this by 2, right? Let's continue. Okay, so from here, x will be equal to 12 plus or minus. Square root of 64 here will give 8. Then we have root 2. This will still be over 2. Now, I can reduce this to a lower term. So that x will be equal to 2 will go there. So we have 6. Now, the same 2 will go there, so we have plus or minus 4. This will be root 2 here. There will be root 2 over here. Now, there is no longer 2 as a denominator. From here, we have two solutions, meaning that our x is equal to 6 plus 4 root 2, or let's call this x1, and then x2 is equal to 6 minus 4 root 2. So these are the two solutions for the equation. But trust me, both of them may not satisfy. You can try it out yourself to see the one that satisfies the equation. Thank you, and I need your rating. Rate this video over 10. I mean, rate my math skill, my teaching skill over 10.